bump it. Still bump it, still bump it. Oh, fucking, that's a river. Oh, oh fucking hell. Oh. Very bumpy. Well, oh, fucking hell. Oh. This is painful. Ah, this is painful. <laughs> Oh, shit, the bed. Wow. Let's just get in this bit and it looks a bit fucking smoother. <sighs> right then. Yes, guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to a bit of off-roading slash green laning in the X3M comp. Now, um, I don't know if you can see the road ahead. This road is terrible, absolutely terrible. I've just drove up about maybe 100 meters from the start and it was just all cobbles. Very, very rough and now ahead this mass, obviously that just, that's an absolute river. I don't even know if it's gonna be passable, but um, we'll give it a go. I did come up here yesterday to do some like B-rolling sort of stuff to go on top of the video and the weather was nowhere near as bad, so it doesn't look as dramatic. So I'll try and get some new stuff as well, but in the meantime, this is what to expect this road to look like. Check it out. Right then, enough talking, let's do this. I just pray that that is uh, passable. Oh, this is deep, this is really deep. I think this is just a river, to be honest with you. This is coming across on the GoPro. I know it's not. It never does. Fucking hell. This is crazy. To be fair, I have seen a couple of cars coming up here in the pre and then and on some other days. So it's it's not impossible and it's not unattainable, but it is very harsh. And these these roads, uh, this weather is definitely adding to the drama, which is good. This is a killer for suspension and tyres. Oh. It's just knowing which of these potholes and stuff is okay to go down. I don't want to go down a massive one, smash my car up. There is um, this bit here. It's like the only off-roady bit. You don't have to go up, well, there's literally absolutely no point in going up it, but there's like a little hill, a mound. I'm gonna see if I can get up it in the X3. Obviously, it's very muddy and stuff. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, because that's like the only off-roady little bit. We'll go up it, and then come back down, and then carry on going down there a little bit. We'll see how we get on. 
so let's try and tackle this hill right then here we go I'm a bit nervous about this it is steeper than it looks and I wish I had someone outside spotting it for me but um, let's see how the X3 does I'm just gonna leave everything standard to begin with Ooh. Oh, I think we're stuck. Oh, okay now that was harsh. Very harsh. Just making that clearance at the bottom. Wow. Oh, that was insane. Whew. Right, we've done it. <laughs> yes, let's get out and have a look. Fucking hell. Look at that. Fair play to the X3. Happy with that. is something else it really is something else I've said previously oh, back to these horrible bumps he's gonna kill my tires these oh. I said in a previous video about how fun this car is that you can do mad mad things like that and then drive to the road and absolutely fly down at you know not to 60 in like 3.8 seconds it's just a masterpiece it really is it's amazing this car um unlike this road which isn't this is very bumpy i'm not gonna go fucking hell I'm not going to go too far down here at the end of this road there's like a little tower i'm going to stop there take some pictures and then I head back um i do believe there's like a few big drops on the way we need to be careful of and um take it easy but for now it's just this horrible horrible tire popping suspension ruining rocks Oh, I will kill for some softer suspension right now and some bigger tyres. But where's the fun in that? Don't forget, this is pretty. This is like a sports car. This is an 80 grand fast BMW, and just look what it's doing. I mean, I might have even had it in the wrong settings. I didn't do any settings over there at all. I know it has like the four-wheel drive sport that you can put it in, etc. But I didn't do anything. I just drove over that massive hill. And the car handled it amazingly. Got to be impressed with that. It's really nice up here as well. I know it's foggy now. You literally can't see anything. But um, like I said, I came up yesterday or the day before whenever it was to do some b-roll so um i managed to get the drone up and take some videos and stuff and while i'm going over this never ending very slow bumpy road i think it'd be a good time just to roll the video and show you what it's like when it's not foggy and it is actually quite nice up here so uh let's roll the video oh. 
Fucking hell, see you in a minute. There's an absolutely massive drop there. So I need to be careful about that. Would rip my car to pieces. Let's go around this way. Whoa. That looks too big to go in. Here we are back on the cobbles. As a first time green learning, off roading, whatever you want to call it, first of all, I've enjoyed it, it's proper fun. Secondly, I'm well impressed with the X3, honestly, I really am, especially obviously on that hill that. I suppose the only off-road a little bit it was very steep but I mean, you probably won't come across it never does but it was very steep and um, it actually stopped the computer like stopped itself and then restarted almost and then it just took itself up the hill it, it was proper impressive I've never had a car that could do anything like that I've always seen videos and cars going up hills and, the th and I've thought the cars that I've had I thought Jesus and my car would never do that so it was uh, it was fun it was interesting to be able to do it and um, yeah, it's, it's weird, man. It's good. It's really good. Top car. Really amazing. Can't be far off now. These are big, massive puddles again. Need to try and avoid these. Just let this geezer go past. It's going up there. The annoying thing is, I've got to do all this all over again because I've got to go back. <laughs> There's no way to get through at the other end. At least I don't think. So, um, slow progress, but still fun. Let's get right over to this side. Looks a bit smoother, give the car a bit of a break. <sighs> Feet are piss wet through. Look at the size of this one. This is the worry now because you just don't know how deep it is or which is the best way to go around it. I'm going to stick to the side. Oh, it's quite deep. Yeah, at the end of this road, there's like a cool, they call it the Pigeon Tower. I don't really know what it is at all, to be honest with you, but it, oh, you, can, you can actually just see it. The GoPro won't pick that up, but that looks sick with all the mist and stuff it's just there so um we're gonna get there there's somewhere to park up i'll take some pictures for the thumbnail for instagram and all that please please go and check out my instagram um yeah and we'll call it a day when we get there because like i say i'm only going to turn around and come back but just to summarize first time off-roading with this what a machine what a machine it proved it can do it i mean that wasn't a shit little hill that was serious that oh, a proper that was a hill with a muddy hill on a very wet day and it tackled it no problem um i won't want to go much further than that don't forget this is an 80 grand car i'm not in the business for smashing my car up to get an extra two subscribers but wow that's really impressive and really fun i would definitely come back and do this if you know any other little green lane in areas 
off-roading I'm more than in, more than interested to go and do it um, so yeah the X3 once again coming up trumps an absolute beast of a car little waterfall there's waterfalls everywhere literally just drove down a river so yeah we can't carry on because it turns ridiculous like stupid I will show you a little clip now because I did walk down there and see what it looked like but um there's the pigeon tower I will chuck some b-roll in and stuff if you've not already seen it just to let you have a look at it and um we'll leave it there but as always guys thanks for watching um and I will see you in the next one see you later cheers guys